Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Monday, April 14th, 2014. I'm the gentleman physicist filling in for Jack this week. Our top story comes from the world of genetics. MIT researchers have used a new tool to replace mutated genes in mice. This isn't done for the benefit of the mice. The hope is to one day apply these techniques to humans. Other methods of gene therapy have been investigated in the past, but this one has some distinct advantages. It's referred to as CRISPR and is based off a DNA slicing enzyme that a lot of bacteria use against viruses. This enzyme is guided to a target gene by an RNA template, and researchers can now customize that template to target any gene with relative ease. This research is focused on mice with a genetic liver disorder similar to one that humans have. This disorder prevents the body from processing the amino acid tyrosine. People manage this condition with a low-protein diet and medication. While most systems in the body are influenced by many, many genes, there are still quite a few disorders that are caused by a single genetic error. The researchers attached an RNA template for the faulty gene into the editing enzyme and then added a template for the healthy gene. This allowed the enzyme to repair about one in every 250 liver cells in the, in the mice. These modified cells eventually proliferated and eventually made up one third of the liver. This was enough to cure the condition in the mice. It will be a while before we can use this on humans, but there is real hope for a cure now. This procedure could even be modified to cure a wide range of genetic conditions that only involve errors in one or a few genes. Next up is a quick recap of a recent space science conference. On March 13th, there was a freeform symposium at the Harvard Medical School about modifying the human genome for space travel. It was a mix of doctors, geneticists, neuroscientists, and other space experts, with a mix of planned talks and free informed discussion from the audience. The standing room only event brought up a number of interesting ideas, such as counteracting muscle fatigue in microgravity, protecting our genome from cosmic radiation, and extending the human lifespan for the timescales required for interstellar travel. You can read all about it in our source links, and we here at Brainstorm would love to hear your thoughts. On a more serious note from the world of medicine, a group of Swedish researchers have developed an entirely new method of targeting cancer. Unlike many cancer drugs that target a particular mutation, which can vary from cancer to cancer, this method targets a fundamental difference in cancer cell metabolism. Their altered metabolism produces oxidized nucleic acids, and the cancer cells rely heavily on a particular enzyme to remove them. By inhibiting this enzyme, cancer cells are forced to incorporate the oxidized nucleic acids into their own DNA. This causes cell damage and eventual cell death. Initial experiments with skin cancer cells are very promising, and the group is sending the inhibitor to a number of labs around the world to be worked with freely in the hopes of accelerating its development and its use for clinical trials. In the world of physics, a collaboration between Barcelona, Zurich, and Vienna have resulted in insights into nanoscale thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics basically states that a closed system always tends towards a state of increased entropy or disorder. However, since this is a fundamentally statistical phenomenon, particles on an extremely small scale can temporarily violate this law in ways not possible on the larger macro scale. The scientists suspended nanometer-sized glass beads in a beams of laser light and observed how they interacted with the surrounding atmosphere. Even when the bead was cold, it was sometimes able to give off heat to the warmer surroundings rather than absorbing it, going against the thermodynamic prediction. The overall entropy of these systems quickly balanced out, but the researchers were able to use a mathematical model to predict these unusual events. Further research should help our understanding of the nanoscale thermodynamics, which has important implications for a large variety of technologies. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode. The question this week is, what do you think of the new format? Let us know your thoughts on the format and the stories we discussed in the comments below. And as always, please make sure to share this video.